got started in construction uh, about 10 years ago. I was working in the landscaping fields in New York City. And um, it was, uh, the job that I had then was seasonal and didn't have many benefits really, or the pay wasn't too great either. Uh, and I had a friend that was working in the field and she told me about a pre-apprenticeship program that helps women get into the construction industry. And I signed up. And so I worked during the day and at night I did a nine week pre-apprenticeship program and I got to try out different types of trades, jobs, you know, just doing real basic stuff. And I ultimately chose the Carpenters Union and I was indentured into the Carpenters Union in 2013 and I've been with them ever since I served my four-year apprenticeship and then after that I continued working out in the fields and uh, that's basically how it went for me. I like how different it is every day. I like how challenging it can be for myself. I, I like to push myself to see how far I can go and this definitely does it for me. I like to see, you know, someone tells me, you know, let's, let's do this and it kind of does look challenging at the moment and when we're doing it's like oh you know this is hard but then when you go step back just like you know others may say you know it's like a reward like dang I did that don't be don't let others intimidate you um you know you might on my first job site I was the only female there uh so I was just thinking of just trying to get through the first week one week at a time um but if you go in like and just show that you're willing to work as hard as everyone else um work ethic will either make you or break you in this industry. Um, your reputation follows you. So a good attitude and no matter where you're at in your career, I think to remain teachable. I love working in construction. I don't just like it, I love it. I love it so much because of how many different types of work we're able to do on a job site. So nothing is ever the same. I like being able to read a set of plans and uh, get to understand them and then actually see them realize into something three-dimensional. That's the most satisfying part for me. Uh, I also like how physical it is. I like how mentally challenging it is. I, I love working around all kinds of people from all walks of life. The construction industry is just a really interesting place to be. Yeah, so I have family members in, in construction as well, and uh, my brother at the time was looking for work, but hearing the word construction, you know, he was like, oh, I don't know, but I was, you know, I was there in the room with him, and my uncle was like, yeah, you know, it's really hard, it's challenging, you gotta hustle, and I'm like, that's me, Danny, you know, I'm I'm a hard worker, you know, why are you telling my brother, you know, you're I'm the one you need. For so long, it's been a male-dominated industry, um, you think construction, you think some burly guy, you know, um, but we're changing that and I'm just thankful for the women who've come before me to show me that it is possible. It's not always going to be easy being the only one out there at times, uh, but there's plenty of networking opportunities, conferences to be a part of, Sisters in the Brotherhood, and uh, when you join in and fully participate in those, no matter what the numbers look like on the physical job site, you don't really feel alone. I would tell a woman to find her local union because I think through the union is where she's going to find the support that she needs to see a very fruitful career begin. To be honest, with the kinds of wages that we get here, you're, you're able to support a family financially with doing this work. You, there's protections out there for women in the workplace for if, if you want to work pregnant. I worked when I was pregnant too. And once I gave birth to my son, there's also state um, laws that are put into place that now apply to construction workers where before, maybe just a couple of years ago, we weren't able to take advantage of them. It gives you time off to bond with your family, with a new infant. Um, so I, I, um, I'm able to have my family and spend great quality time with my family. The work hours are great. And uh, I think that shouldn't be something to hold any woman back. 
well, right now I'm eighth term, and you know, the fact that I made it this far is really cool. Uh, just seeing the future of being able to journey out soon. Um, but job, I think it's like the key jobs that you're a part of. Um, this airport's cool because, you know, friends and family will be able to see the finished product. Um, last year, I was on Research Stadium at Oregon State. My husband and I have uh, season tickets, and so the whole time I was like, we gotta make this look good, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna be here every game. And uh, so, yeah, I think the stuff that we work on that um, our loved ones get to enjoy too. There is a place for everyone in the construction industry. And I think if a woman is feeling that maybe she might not fit in, if she comes out to work in the field, she's gonna realize that that is, has changed since all the women that came before us, they were able to blaze a path for more and more women to come into this industry. The recruitment efforts are there, the retention efforts are ramping up. So if you come on site, you're definitely gonna see other women. You're gonna find a good support network of women out there. There's sisters in the brotherhood meetings and all, all different trades. So um, you're gonna find your mentor, whether they're female or male. Uh, this is a place for everyone and everyone will see that. If, if you just give it a shot, don't shoot it down because you feel like you might not belong. There's, there is a great sense of belonging here.